Hello everybody. I'm in uh, I'm in a van plugged in outside the house and um because he's getting ready with the dogs, preparing them for the journey. We're off to uh, this courtesy of Posh Cats Camping and uh, Caravan Chit Chat. We're off to Green Acres Farm in uh, Halstead near Colchester in Essex. Um and after watching their video, we decided that we'd uh, get there ourselves and, and have a look around. It looks such a lovely place. They've done a great video. So, uh, yeah, thank you, Posh Cats Camping and Caravan Chit Chat. If you don't know who they are, you probably, if you subscribe to me, you probably do know, know who they are. Um, if not, um, check them out. Check their channels out there. You do some uh, good videos and some uh, great locations, including some great locations. So, definitely worth a watch. So, yeah, we're going to about uh, leave in about 10 minutes and um, join us along on our journey. So we've arrived at uh, Green Acres Farm and uh, it's really nice, the pitch is, uh, we ended up on a hard standing pitch. Reason being is, there's a bad weather warning out for tomorrow, danger to life weather warning. So I thought, I don't want to end up in the, uh, stuck in that field there, that's where the majority of people stay. And uh, looks very nice, it's very tranquil, lovely little gazebo in the middle there it's a very nice setting it's more like an orchard nice and close to the water there just filled up next to this other pitch here which is probably going to be empty and uh, yes yeah, so I'm just going to have uh, something to eat now a sandwich Kirsty's already stuck into hers Zola's um, prime position again as usual now, now we know why <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna have me um, ghost ship I love that and a nice salad cream I mean cheese and salad cream sandwich all right so we're off on a little walk now we're gonna um, we're going to go to the shop and head for this uh, viaduct. There's a nice viaduct somewhere around here. And um, we saw it on the uh, uh, Posh Cats video, so we're going to try and look for that and uh, see what we find. So we found the, vol uh, the viaduct, it was only just, uh, only just down the road really, and uh, 
we've only been walk we've only been walking for five minutes although it is a busy road we've been walking for five minutes and uh, there's a shop just ahead of us for your bits and we found all this world war ii stuff there's a pillbox just beyond the uh trees there i don't know if you can see it through there and all those concrete blocks i think they're um anti anti tank blocks or anti landing airplane landing concrete blocks so planes couldn't land in world war ii so it's quite impressive there's a thing up there first some right some writing plaque is the word i'm looking for Eighteen forty-seven. That is an old viaduct. So yeah, these are the. I think they're anti-tank blocks. What do I know? I oh, know it's not a pillbox. It's a proper turret. Look at that. And that's where the gun would go on that little round table there, little turntable. Yeah. You can imagine them all in there, wouldn't you? Wow. Amazing stuff. Oh, is that? Where? There. A couple of little duggies. I think they're after that duck do. What's duck do? Quack, quack. <laughs> What's a duck do? Oh. I should be on stage, shouldn't I? Oh, yeah. Sweeping it, I know, but yeah. What are you looking at? Oh, there's a little thing there. And it yeah, I was right for once in my life. Anti-tank obstacles and spigot mortars. Ah, that's what it was. <laughs> wow, look at that. World War II trail. Interesting stuff. Here they are, look. Quality. Yeah, that's what way? Let's go. This is an absolute lovely walk. It's like, um, look at that, it's like follow the yellow brick road, except in brown. And we don't know where it ends, but we've been on it for a good 10 minutes now. And there's all these little passing places there for some and other people who've got dogs or... Absolutely brilliant. I'm not kidding, everywhere you go around this place is just beautiful. If you get a chance to stay at that um, green, green Acre farm, make sure you do, it's brilliant. Well, the surrounding area, isn't it? The surrounding area is so much to, uh, so much to see and do and walk everywhere. Right, so we couldn't resist it, we had to stop. Um, after seeing all of those owls they've got directly from the casket, I couldn't resist. So I've got a Marston's, which is a lovely owl. And Kirsty's got herself um, an Aspel's. So yes, we are going to enjoy them. Thank you very much. So we're back from that turn. Uh, 
nice walk and we're just having some hot dogs we've got the barbecue on making the last of the best weather and those onions are cooking up lovely You want a hot dog? Rosie? You want a hot dog? I'm silly asking you, we know what you like. You'll eat anything, won't you? You. You'll eat anything. <laughs> right, whilst Kirsty's doing the hot dogs, I'll show you um, a little bit more around the site since there's uh, nothing on TV worth watching. I'll uh, show you around. Not really. Thanks, Trev. He's the reason we're here. It's so peaceful at night. There's a few drive on here. So these, if you're in a Continental van, and your door's on the other side, you can drive on here. And... Uh, overlook a nice little paddock there and there's a dog walking area did you know it was a dog walking area there yeah, yeah. like you can't walk your dogs anywhere around here it's dog walkers paradise um, so let me show you the green I know we came around here earlier but I'll show you the, the facilities as well for a CL it's quite impressive very well looked after site so you go through here and inside this caravan here is this playroom a snooker table there's even toilets in that in there so I thought that was a good little nice little touch The owners of the CL live in that house there. Here's your little, oops, Here's your little washroom. I don't know if you can see very well. Hmm. Well, anyway, you've got a little shower and toilet. What more do you want? And your washroom, your uh, sorry, laundry room, and information room is in here. So we was well pleased with this place. It took us about an hour to get here from where we live. And, um, oh yeah, there's the your Elson point there. We are well, in, well impressed with it. Like I said earlier, it's um, what's around the area that's, uh, that I like. I mean, uh, the site itself is nice, it's peaceful, but um, there's so much to do in the in the area. There's so, so many sort of um, public footpaths you can take, and we saw even on our walk, um, there's a few more other ones that you can uh, go on, so that's what we like. Well, as you can see, today is a total washout. We're not going anywhere. It's going to be a bit of a chill out day. As you can see, we're chilled out. There's no one out and about. And as nice as it sounds, with the right roof, rain on the roof, we still can't go out. 
Let's have a little look outside. What's going on? I can hear someone out there. Oh, there's a bloke walking his uh, his dog. Got rather wet. So we'll have to see what we're going to do. So finally, there's a little gap in the storm, and we decided to walk out the site, turn right, just a couple of hundred yards around the uh, around the corner, around the lane. We found a public footpath, and it's brought us out to this. It's absolutely stunning, even in this weather. But that's why we like uh, doing what we do, don't we? Right, let's let these bugs off. Oh, I've done the wrong one. <laughs> They're still tied together. What a wally. <laughs> Lucky they didn't run uh, around each side of a tree. saying that every um, every site has its own advantages or its own kind of um, walks that you find either marked out or finding them by accident and we find a lot of them by accident especially on um, certified sites or certified locations and of course they're much much cheaper to stay at Right, so we're back from that lovely little walk and time to put the gas on and uh, we've got some nice fish finger sandwiches. Looking good. Right, so that's about it from uh, Greenacre Farm. As you can see, the weather really has took a turn for the worse, so we are gonna go. One thing I did forget to mention is that the pitches here are metered. So as you can see, they've installed these um, meters here, and uh, it's at one pound for putting a little box there, and we've got 99p left. We've put in two pound over the one night period and um, it was a cold night and we had the heating on and everything so um, on top of our we were charged £16.50 but that that is 50p a dog as well so £15 with no dogs for one night plus you have to pay for your electric which it's not bad I mean we didn't consume a whole lot obviously in the midst of winter it would be more but in the summer it would be less so um, yeah I think that's that's it for for this video next time we'll be going to the nec so in the next video we'll be staying at summerswood uh, caravan site which is a lovely adults only site near the show uh, and um yeah i'll be filming hopefully filming some nice nice vans there so uh, thanks for watching again and uh, see you in the next video